Hey, what's up guys? AY Stream here with 10 secret things that you didn't know about the crossbow in Minecraft, including exclusive enchantments, the ability to shoot more than just boring old arrows, including shooting lightning and those sharp spiky things that vindicators shoot. Not to mention, you can exploit the crossbow to do up to 30 times more damage than the average bow, killing the wither in just one shot. Pretty much making you the most overpowered Minecraft Pro of all time. And if you want to be the most OP Minecraft Pro, then drop a like down below on today's video. We're going for 10,000 likes. If you don't leave a like, then you just ain't ever going to be a pro and of course guys as always make sure to slap the subscribe button hit the bell icon to ding 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 to never miss an upload and that way you can get the coolest minecraft tips and tricks before any of your friends do and you know they'll be pretty impressed as long as you go ahead and hit that bell to ling ding but that's enough for me it's time to get in to today's video <laughs> And by the way, we're going to be starting with some simple things that you didn't know. But as we go along, things are going to get more insane and way more crazy. So you're going to want to stick around till the end of today's video so you don't miss out. Fact one of the day. Did you know that crossbows can actually stay charged in your inventory? So you charge this one up, you can actually move it to the next one and then charge that up but the last one will actually still stay charged. Why is this cool? Because, well, you can go ahead and charge up a full hot bar of crossbows. Now, the average crossbow bolt does about nine damage. Now, you have nine hot bar slots. So that means if you fire them one after the other, you can do up to 99 damage in pretty much about like two seconds, which means you already can do 10 times more damage than the average bow. And look at how quick this is. Ready, guys? In three, two, one, bang. Boom, 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 boom. Did you see how quick that was? And uh, just by the way, guys, look at my epic aim right now. I got all of these right in the center of the target. That means you can do a night. I can't even, I can't reach the arrow. Let me reach the arrow. It was at this moment that Jordan realized he is too dang short. A wither has 300 health. So that means that just three rounds of this, and it's pretty much a done skis. Not to mention, if you combine it with the other features in today's video, you're going to be able to take out the Wither and Ender Dragon, both at the same time, in one shot. So trust me, you're going to want to stick around for that. Anyway, on to fact number two. Now, fact number two, most of you guys probably already know. And if you did, drop a like down below. I want to see all you Minecraft pros out there leaving a like. But if you didn't, I wanted to include this because it is still a pretty dang awesome. Basically, unlike regular bows, crossbows can actually shoot a fireworks. So if you pick your favorite type of firework and you want to grab it and put it here in your offhand slot, it should appear on your left hand side of the screen, then grab your, your crossbow, load it up just how you normally would. But instead of it being an arrow, you guys can see it is now a firework. Then all you have to do is go and look at this. Bang! You can actually go ahead and shoot fireworks using your crossbow. And not only that, because the crossbow has more momentum than the dispenser, it'll actually shoot your fireworks further and faster than your regular dispenser. Fact three, the crossbow has three exclusive enchantments you can't get on any other weapon in Minecraft. These include quick charge, piercing, and multi-shot. So let's check out quick charge first. Now, as the name suggests, I'm sure many of you have already guessed it. It charges quickly, but it's really cool. This is why. Look at this, ready? I charge this crossbow one. One second it takes to charge the crossbow. The same time it takes to charge a regular bow, even though the crossbow is more accurate, shoots faster, and does more damage, it takes the exact same time to charge, compared to also a regular crossbow, which takes one, two, three. Three seconds to charge. The difference is literally phenomenal here, guys, between the two of these. Now, our next enchantment is piercing. This is my personal favorite enchantment, um, but most of you guys will probably like multi-shot more, but I love this because you can hit multiple mobs through multiple heads with one single arrow, just like in a movie. So you guys can see these three zombies are lined up perfectly for me here. If I charge up this crossbow, okay, one of them moved out of the line. If I charge this crossbow up, I can hit multiple of them at the same time. Ready? Watch this. Three, two, one, bang. Did you see that, guys? 
I even killed one of them. I hit all four of them with one arrow because the arrow like went through multiple of the heads. I love it because it just reminds me of like all those cool movie shots where, you know, someone shoots a gun and it just goes through multiple people at once. So how cool is that, guys? You can literally charge this up and shoot through multiple mobs at the same time. Like, double kill right there. That is awesome. Imagine combining that with our really fast thing we showed for fact number one. Now, finally, guys, we have multi-shot here. Now, you can't have multi-shot and piercing on the same crossbow, unfortunately, which is really unfortunate, but this is the other one that a lot of people really love. Basically, it allows you to shoot three arrows for the cost of one. So if we go ahead, charge up our crossbow here, Bang! You can see there, I can shoot three arrows. Now, if I stood farther back, maybe I could hit all three targets. Come on, we can do this. We can do this. Dang it. Wait, wait. We need to shoot. If I shoot... I can't even see the targets. Come on. Come Oh, my goodness. I hit the walls here, guys. No! I reckon I can do this. I've destroyed those two walls. Now, I can stand really far back, and surely we can hit all three targets here. Bang! Oh, that was so close. Come on, come on, come on, come on, guys. Leave a like right now for me to do this. Bang! Oh! <laughs> Look at this, guys! Triple headshot! That is insane! I am clearly a pro archer, even though it took me like five, six, seven tries. We just don't speak about that, guys. Now, fact number four is cool to know, but in reality, it's probably the most useless and stupid thing you could know. But, I mean, you could show off to your friends with it anyway. Basically, you can use the crossbow as furnace fuel, but it'll only furnace one item. So yeah, you might want to stick to coal or lava buckets because this is probably the most inefficient way to burn items. Fact five, you can combine multi-shot with fireworks, allowing you to put on some really epic fireworks display for all your friends and pets. Look at that. How epic does that look? And you know, I reckon your friends will love it. Unless you have no friends. <laughs> But the real reason this feature gets its own spot on the list is because of its OP nature in PvP. If any of you guys play PvP, this is something to use. Basically, if you fire this thing at the ground, it's going to create a smoke screen, essentially, of particles blinding your enemies temporarily so they can't see where you are. Basically, like a smoke grenade in real life. It's really effective if you need to make a quick getaway or you want to do a sneak attack on your enemy, which is why I think it's really useful to know that fireworks can be used with multi shot. Fact six is probably the coolest thing of this entire list. And once again, it comes down to the crossbow being able to shoot fireworks. Now, what exactly is so special about these fireworks from the other ones? Well, let me show you guys. Ready? I'll load this crossbow in three, two, one. Boom! Check this out, guys. When I fire this firework, you just got, you got to see it again. Ready? Boom! Lightning appears wherever I shoot this crossbow. And if I shoot it at the ground, ready? Bang! Look at this, guys. It'll fire lightning across the ground. How epic is that? Not only can lightning be summoned, but check this out, guys. You can also shoot these spiky claw things that vindicators shoot. Ready? In three, two, one. Bang! And look at this, guys. You can summon those spiky claw things, making you not only an absolute god, but pretty overpowered. I mean, look at how cool this is, guys. You fire one of these, boom, and you summon all these spiky-ass things to eat up your enemies. Now, how does this all work? Why does it all work? Basically, fireworks work kind of as entities when they are shot. Meaning when you do shoot them, you can actually assign commands to them, which is exactly what we have done here, guys. So if you have a look, we've got this command block over here, which was the first one I showed you. If we open this up, Basically, here's what the command looks like. You guys can screenshot this if you want to do it in your own Minecraft world. It is execute space at E, open square bracket, type equals fireworks underscore rocket, close square bracket, tilde, 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 which are like the little squiggly lines, and then slash summon lightning underscore bolt, tilde, tilde, tilde. What this means is at the fireworks rocket, it is summoning lightning bolts. And then our other command here, guys, which once again, you can take a screenshot if you want to, is the exact same thing. Well, it starts off the same. It goes execute at E, type equals fireworks underscore rocket. But then instead of doing slash summon lightning bolt, this is slash summon evocation underscore fang, which are those sharp spiky claw things that vindicators have. And you guys can see, I can just turn these on and off how I like. But what's even cooler, guys, is you can combine this with quick shot and with multi-shot. So you guys can see here, we've got a multi-shot and quick charge bow. And if I go ahead and let's say we turn on the spiky things right now and we shoot this at the ground, ready? Watch this. 
Look at this. We can shoot three lots of spiky things. And then you can do this with fireworks as well. Ready? We're going to shoot three lots of fireworks. Boom. Look at this, guys. Three lots of fireworks. It goes so fast you can barely see it. But can you imagine summoning fireworks on your enemies? That makes you an absolute god. Pretty awesome, if you ask me. So you want a crossbow. But how do you actually get one? Now, you can get them from pillagers, but the actual math behind that is kind of dodge. You can only get one 8.5% of the time, which means effectively you should get one every 10 to 11 pillagers that you kill. And that means these pillagers also have to have crossbows. They can't have anything else, and they can't be a captain pillager either. So you guys can see I'm killing all these pillagers, but we still don't have a crossbow at all here. Come on, guys. Come on. We need a crossbow. We need a crossbow. Just one. Nope, still no crossbow. So you can see the chances of one of these guys dropping a crossbow is actually super, super low. Look, you can get a ton of arrows, sure, but actually getting a crossbow is eh, kind of very pretty rare. Look, we still don't... I literally killed... I feel like I've killed 10 now. Finally, yes! Literally lines up with the math, guys. Every 10 to 11, you can get a crossbow like so. But you can actually increase your chances if you guys go to a pillager outpost. There's actually a 50% chance to find the crossbow in the chest at the top of a pillager outpost. And the reason why you might want to actually kill pillagers to get one, even though it is a low chance, sometimes they can drop them with enchantments already on them, which is what makes it such a good option. Now, let's say you ain't about that raid lifestyle or you just can't find a pillager outpost. Lucky for you, they actually added a crafting recipe for the crossbow and it goes like so. You put one stick in the bottom, one in the top left and right hand corner, iron bar at the top, string below each of your sticks and then a tripwire hook in the middle and boom, you got yourself a lovely old crossbow. Fact 9 allows you to exploit the crossbow to do up to 30 times more damage than your regular bow. How? Well, when the crossbow fires a rocket, they have their own damage rating depending on how many stars were actually used to create that rocket. For example, a single star rocket will do about 2.5 to 3 HP of damage. A seven star rocket does 9 HP of damage. That is a huge difference. That's enough to kill one player without armor. And if you start stacking them, that's a lot of damage. So how do you actually make a seven star rocket? Well, this here is the crafting recipe. You can use any type of firework star you like, as long as you have seven of them. And then you have gunpowder and paper. So let's go ahead here and make our own real quick. Jump into the crafting table. We're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And once again, guys, you can use any colors you like, just as long as you have seven of these bad boys. Put in your gunpowder and paper, and that'll give you three of these brutal firework rockets. Now it's time to actually go ahead and test this. So let's chuck this into our offhand. We've got some zombies here. Watch this. A boom. And boom. Did you see that, guys? We managed to kill two of those zombies in just a single hit. Not to mention, these guys are probably literally one shot of dying. And boom. Do you see that, guys? Two of them died in a single shot. And the other two required just a little bit extra. That's how OP these fireworks rockets are. Now, how do you use this to get up to 30 times more damage, I hear you asking? Well, combine this little trick with multi-shot or with piercing, and then you can combine it with our very first trip where we'll be able to do nine crossbows at the same time, and you have the ability to now do over 300 damage in a single shot, enough to kill the Wither or Ender Dragon in a single lot of crossbows. That is overpowered. Are you guys hearing me? This is insane and it is crazy. But anyway, we do have one more crazy fact for today. Stick around for that. Fact number 10. Our final fact is one you tell your friends to impress them, but you never try it yourself because it's actually really, really hard to pull off. Basically, guys, for those of you who don't know, Endermen, if you try and shoot them with just a regular arrow like this, boom, they will teleport away so that you can't do damage to them. However, if a firework gets shot at them, they won't actually teleport away. However, it means you have to manage to get the exact lineup for the firework to explode on them before they do end up teleporting away, like that Enderman right there who just, who just keeps vanishing on me. So I'm going to try it now, but to be honest, I don't think I'll be able to pull this off because the distance has to be just perfect. Okay, it would help if you stopped teleporting, Mr. Enderman, just for like two seconds. Please. How am I? This is why aiming at these guys is so hard anyway. Uh, bang. Oh, wait. 
I forgot to put the firework in my offhand. Oh my, that is a major fail. All right. I believe we can do this, guys. Come on. And did I get See, guys, look at that. My firework exploded just slightly behind him. And so it didn't do any damage to him. You have to get the positioning exactly right, which is just why it's so hard. And yeah, I would not try actually doing this to impress your friends. Just tell them it exists and that will impress them. Oh, no way. I got it. Did you see that? That's actually legitimately the first time I have ever managed to get that, guys. What did you think, Mr. Enderman? Were you impressed? He, he doesn't seem impressed, but I was impressed. We managed to do damage to him with a projectile, which in with an arrow is actually impossible. So anyway, guys, those are the 10 things that you didn't know about crossbows in Minecraft. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I enjoyed having you all join me today. If you did, as always, drop a like, subscribe. I can't wait to see you in the next one. But until then, AOI Scream out. Bye!